Yeah, I love them. And uh, I think, uh, like, when you just look at the entertainment of, the, of a race, I think the classic uh, classic races is uh, the most entertaining races, both for our cyclists and, so, and also the spectators. Uh, so, yeah, I love it. And... Uh, I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm also not the, the lightest guy, so I still have uh, quite a lot of power. So that means I can also follow on short hills and, uh, and flat uh, sections. So yeah, it's, it's just super fun races. And uh, I think it's also like my main goal is, is to be a really good uh, ground provider. But I think also for my development, it's also really important and really, really good for me to, to do some, some of those races and also develop that kind of um of rider in me yeah so that year you came to the tour de love air again but you won it this time how how was the whole tour for you uh, i think it was a bit it wasn't like the normal love year uh like the last two years uh, because we went uh, into uh, into the central uh, massive is that what it's called in france yeah, yeah. so we, it, even though before the the mountain stages it was i think two or three days that was really hard so so that suited me really well that it wasn't like five days and then we go three days full gas in the mountains because that can be a little bit, little bit too explosive for me maybe uh, and also maybe some yeah it's really then about the climbing and not like the total package so uh, I really benefit from from the hard stages and we also got some bad weather that was well, that was good for me so yeah, I came into the mountains with a uh, with really yeah, with a really good uh, standing on on the list, and uh, yeah, I also managed to do uh, four really good uh, climbing stages. So uh, I was a bit surprised, or I wasn't surprised of the numbers I did, but uh, but I was for sure surprised that I won. But uh, that was a really really fun race, and uh, yeah, doing that with my team and. And with, uh, with my friends, that was uh, something really special. Norway must have gone completely crazy <sighs> with you winning the race. Yeah, that was uh, was quite uh, quite special. And uh, yeah, like, I, yeah, I was the first Norwegian guy to win it. And uh, I for sure won't be the wouldn't be the last or the last one. But uh, but yeah, it's, it's special. And also, also when when it's called uh, the uh, Tour of the Year of the Youth, then uh, then also the newspaper can get a really nice headline. So they're also benefiting from that. So uh, yeah, it was a lot of uh, attention. Uh, but yeah, that, that's also part of the game. And uh, I was just really happy that I could could get uh, the result in, in the bank. So yeah. yeah. No pressure. Egan Bernal and Tadir Podica, you're the next one. Yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. But, <laughs> but yeah, I, yeah, that also gave me confidence that uh, someday I, or if I just continue to work, then uh, everything is possible. Uh, but uh, those guys were special, so that I will take it uh, as quickly as them. That I don't expect, but uh, for sure, when I when I'm close to 30 years old, I I expect for myself to be up there in the, in the Grand Tours.